Hey everyone, welcome to today's update. Today is Thursday, May 21st, starting with the trade hacker question of the day. Can you get assigned with options on futures? So we have we have a full course about options on futures, how to trade them, all the details on the different contracts. The answer is it depends. One, you cannot get assigned before expiration. But if you let the options expire and you have an in the money option, then you will get assigned. Now, some contracts settle to cash, so that assignment will just settle to cash in your account, and some settle to the underlying futures contract. So if you have a in-the-money short call, for example, and you let that option expire, it would be assigned a short futures contract. So you just want to, we always take these off before uh, before they expire, but you can hold them all the way up into expiration week till the day of expiration because uh, you cannot get assigned early only if you let them expire. So hopefully that helps. Let's jump on to the Thinkorswim platform, see what's going on in the markets. Uh, S&P's down about 30 points. The market just closed about almost 40 minutes ago. So staying within this little box here, we, we're not breaking out either way yet. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Dow down 127, NASDAQ down 124, and the Russell pretty flat. Oil continuing its grind higher. Gold down about a percent and a half. Bonds pretty flat as well. So that's what's happening in the broad markets. Stocks, fairly mixed bag. I mean, with the, with the markets down as much as they were, it's still a decent amount of green. I mean, Boeing up 4%. Baidu, after the you know the, the news I mentioned yesterday about the Chinese stocks that are listed in the U.S. markets, you know, Baidu making a little bit of a rebound. Alibaba, not so much, down another couple percent, but nothing catastrophic. Now, when you know, the, I mean, the proposal was from a senator saying that the proposition was to delist. Chinese-based stocks that were listed in the U.S. unless they would follow U.S. regs. And so if it was that serious, I think we would see much more of a sell-off. Now, we still could if that comes closer to fruition, but right now it's simply just a proposal. So stocks you know, went down yesterday, but definitely not selling off as if there's a chance that they're actually going to get delisted. So we'll, we'll keep you posted on that front. What else happened? I mean, Bank of America pretty flat. Citigroup down a little bit. So banks kind of flat to lower. Some of these travel companies like Expedia that, that have been up big this week are coming off a little bit. Big uh, technology actually kind of lagging the group. If you look at the NASDAQ, it's down the most of the indices. Russell flat, uh, NASDAQ down over a percent and a quarter. So big tech kind of heading down. Now, again, if we i have mentioned this before, if we really start to roll over, if the market really starts to roll over, you know, big tech is going to need to fall. Big tech and financials are what's driving this market. So that's what we're watching on that front. The other thing I wanted to mention is, you know, it was interesting. Yesterday I was reading uh, some articles and listening to some things. And the World Health Organization, who came out and said yesterday was the most coronavirus cases that they've had in one day. And on the flip side of that, I read another article about 10 minutes later where you know the New York governor uh, came out and said that New York New York cases was the lowest daily amount that they've seen. It's back to basically right when this thing kind of kicked off. You know, so that's kind of interesting. So who was talking about worldwide cases? Obviously, New York was talking about just New York cases. But it's interesting to note because we don't know exactly where these numbers are coming from or what countries as far as what I'm talking about here. So we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, we're starting to open up. I know when in my area, we're starting to open up with retail stores and businesses and things like that. And, um, you know, hopefully this warmer weather will help out in kind of keeping this thing calm. But if this thing flares up, you know, that's one thing that could kind of set this market into a little bit of a tailspin. Obviously, the stimulus money is starting to run out. I still think there's going to be a trickle effect on all these businesses being closed for as long as they were. I mean, if you think about it, uh, you know, retail shops stop paying rent. That affects the landlords. 
that affects the bills that they pay and on and on and on. You know, so commercial real estate, you know, and in, in outside of the market, even outside of the stock market, you know, a lot of different industries affected. Every industry is affected by this. So it'll be interesting to see. I still don't think we're out of the woods yet. I don't think we're just going to see sunny skies and rip to new highs. Uh, I think we're going to uh, continue to kind of stay in a range and then it's going to get volatile again. I, th- I still think we're seeing, we're going to see a mark below these lows in the, in the S&P in the market. So that is what we're looking at. So what did we do today in our positions? We closed out one of our wheat positions, books and profits on that piece of our trade. Also closed out one of our SPX weekly double calendars. We've got another set that we'll close out tomorrow. And, uh, and that's about it. No new positions. I mean, when I mean, this thing, the market basically hasn't moved uh, since the middle of April. I mean, it is it is right where it was. So we're letting our positions work for us, letting that theta decay not going to trade just to trade. We are going to be pretty selective here. Wait for wait for something to happen. Wait for the market to show some direction before we get uh, load up on on much else. But we are you know going to stay mechanical. Continue to add positions here and there. And then uh, lastly, don't forget Memorial Day is Monday. It's going to be a nice long weekend. Have a great time. Take some time off of trading. Recharge the batteries. Uh, I'll be doing a pro membership video tomorrow to recap all of our alerts, all of our trades. The rest of you all, I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great one. Talk to you soon.